All right, so good morning, y'all, folks. It has been over two months since I have done a get ready with me. Why? Summer break. Summer break. Just grabbed my lotion. And I'm going to uh, lotion my skin because it's always dry. So... With that being said, and it being summer break, it's going to be kind of a rough patch for me to remember how to um, place all these items as it's my first time in two months putting any kind of makeup, skincare, all of that on. Any kind of makeup, skincare, all of that on. It's been two months since I've done it, so let's see if uh, this bitch remembers how to do that shit. All right? Anyways, so. First, going in with skincare. That much I remember. So, going in with this Fiorier skincare. This is a first try product for me. There is three first try products in this video for today. Um, and this is one of them. This is the Clinicals by Spa Scription Skin Booster Facial Serum Anti-Aging. So this is a first try product for me. I've seen it quite a lot, however, this is going to be my first time trying it on my skin. And uh, I'll let you know what I think after a few uses. But let me try it out for today. And let you know. So that's it. I like the fact that it comes with a dropper. Makes it easier to save. Now I am going in with from the same, no, this is the Dead Sea Skin Minerals, going in with the face cream. Going in with the face screen. And going in with this. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I have that much left. Now going in with this, um, gonna see if this still works. Y'all know that I used to like um, spraying on the setting spray before and it still kept the face looking intact. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if my skin is still responding to that setup the same way or if we have to go back to spraying it on after in order for the face to get used to it. So shaking it up. Oh, the sprayer is aggressive. It is very aggressive. Anyways, 
let's go into foundations couldn't find a foundation brush so i'm going in with a sponge so i'm going in as usual with my double foundation so i'm going in with this one this is the covergirl clean fresh skin milk foundation with first the shade 510 porcelain All right, so once again, as per last, if y'all see me looking in that direction, I'm looking in the mirror. Okay, so that is this foundation, porcelain, 510 porcelain. Now I'm going in with this one, which is 600 rich. All right, so now for a, another first time try. Um, this is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Concealer. First of all, like I said before, why the hell the packaging gotta be so goddamn big for a concealer bottle? But then and again, then and again, if it wasn't, we wouldn't get as much product so you know then and again the product will be really really small so let's see like the fact that it has a big ass doe foot applicator 
So let's get that under my eyes to um, lighten up the skin. There's a lot of people always ask me how and why do I say that a lot of the photos are natural because I don't wear makeup in the summertime and that's when usually all my photos are edited as Beyonce is in the summertime. If you were to look and check, there has never, ever, ever been a photo of Beyonce displaced in the winter time. There has never, ever been a photo of Beyonce edited in the winter time. Always, always in the summertime. Which means that I am not wearing any makeup in any of those videos at all. No makeup whatsoever. So, when I tell you all that those highlights are literally highlights from editing, that's exactly what they are. It's just the editing background used with the InShot app to edit me into Beyonce. It is literally just the InShot app that is used. I do not edit myself because I didn't purchase the full use of the InShot app because it is too expensive for the small budget that I get. However, when things do get better for me personally, and it will, it will get better. Believe you me. I will be purchasing the full editorial of InShot in order to edit my photos and videos much better. All of my music videos as any character edited with InShot via phone, InShot app. I've tried to tell people this before but they never believed me. They didn't. They really did not believe that of everything that I do that turns either into a movie or a small screen, technically music videos only, because InShot only has the power to edit up to four minute scenes, four minutes. Kind Master has the power to edit up to two hours, two hours with uh, Kind Master 6, Kind Master 5, one hour, one hour. So several apps are used in order to edit an actual movie. So when I edit my videos in the mornings, they take that and they template it and turn it into an editorial and um, scenes where others are required to be there, show up on the lot and my scenes are edited in. And usually my skin color is changed because of all the haloing effects. So if you believe that you've seen me in a movie, it probably is me. Just haloed as a different effect. Thanks to all the green monsters that pop up on my face. And um... 
you know me. I'm about to find a way to block that. All right, so that took a lot to blend out. It did. Very little of that concealer goes a long way. Very, very, very little. Very little of this concealer goes a long way. However, just as when my makeup or editing is done in the summertime, this is what my face looks like with all the editing, digitalized editing, thanks to this concealer by Makeup Revolution. All right, so I forgot my setting powder. Okay, so going in with this setting powder, this is the 35D Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Setting Powder in order to set the highlighted areas so that the concealer does not budge. Alright. And as you can see, the shade 35 Deep is bringing some color back into my skin after lightening it, lightening it up with the concealer. All right, so now going in with this one, this is Maybelline Fit Me 355 Coconut, 355 Coconut to set the entire rest of my face. And, all right, so, going in with this palette, I haven't used it in a while, this is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and um, we're going to go down in this dark shade right there. And just, um contour out
my face to deepen up the color even more. Deepen up my skin even more. Alright now, um, y'all can see that my face is very, very, very dry and that's because I haven't really been doing anything all summer long in order to give it any moisture. I haven't been doing anything to my skin all summer long. So, if y'all can see why my skin is dry it's because of that anyways going in with this blush palette actually as a matter of fact i'll just leave that right there um this one is done that one is completely done let me see if I can find a blush brush. We're going to go in with this one. And um, we're going to go in with the CoverGirl highlighter. <laughs> going in with this brush and going in with the dark highlighter. The darker shade. Now going in with the sponge to blend all of that out to make everything as seamless as possible and a very, very light tap. And as always, I forget something, which is my brows. In order to fill my brows in, my brows. Okay, so, can't find anything to do my brows with, so I'm going to take my bronzing powder, same one that I just contoured with, and fill out my brows. Going into that shade right there with the this brush. And then going with the back of the spoolie to actually fill it out.
And um, going in with the same concealer in order to shape out the brows, but with very, very little product. So, all right, now. Eyeshadow brushes. I need some eyeshadow brushes. All right, folks. So here is where things are going to get a little bit dicey with me using the Jaclyn Hill palette again. Because what's happening is truly happening now. So this is my dice roll. This is the palette. Before summer came in, I was able to get, mm, I was able to get all of those check mark eyeshadows done. I still have a few more dice rolls left in order to finish off the month of June because this was supposed to be for the month of June. And I'm doing June in September. So, this bitch is dead to me. This bitch is dead, but I'm still gonna be using the palettes. So I'm gonna go in right here with two, six, and ace. And the shades are right or die, right or diamond. I'm in it and certified. And then blending that out.
And then I'm just going to take this brush and just blend everything. Okay, face is still feeling too dry. Face is still feeling too dry, so I'm going back in with the Mario Badescu to add some sheen to it and some moisture. <clears throat> now for the final first try in this video, which would be this right here. This is the Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink Liquid Lipstick. Some say mousse, some say lipstick. Hold on. Scissors. Let us give you a swatch of the shade. Oh, has a weird ass applicator. This applicator is weird as hell. It's very weird. And that shade is very, very beautiful for fall. Absolutely very beautiful. So, let's add that to the lips. And I am going to go back in like I always do. That part I do remember. With a powder brush to wipe away excess stains. And I'm going to go back in with a little bit more blush and highlighter because it was uh, wiped away. Same one. Same one on top. And going back in with the highlighter. And that is it. Feels very, very strange to be applying makeup for the first time after two months, actually. It does. It really does feel very strange applying makeup after two months of not wearing any, not even skincare. It does feel very strange. However, I have other videos to film after this one, so 
This is basically what you're all going to be seeing in quite a few videos coming up for today. Okay? With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel for future videos like this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.